Hello everyone, welcome to Nigra Techies. In this video, I am going to explain reusable component in Angular application. So in my previous videos, I am clearly explained what is component and how to use the components. And also I have explained how to pass the parameter between the components. Using this both concept, I am going to explain this reusable component. So basically the reusable component we can use in two ways. So one is the same component can be used multiple times in the single component. And another one option is the same component can be used in different components. So I will explain with the both the scenarios. If you see the screen, it's a kind of ticket status. So some ticket number gets generated. So if it's assigned to somebody, they will change the status in progress. If they are required any details, they will ask and we have the option to reply. And once they completed their job, they will change the status into result. So if you clearly look this screen, uh, we have the multiple boxes. In the all the boxes are look similar only, but only the difference is data and also some kind of styles and colors only different. Okay. So as of now, if you see, I just created the HTML content, the multiple contents. Basically, it's not required if you are using the reusable component. It's not required to n number of lines. Uh, we can create just one component using this particular content. After that, our reusable concept, uh, we can create n number of boxes like this. So anyway, this home screen, as I mentioned, I have the hard coded HTML content. Now let me come to my contact page. If you noted here, we don't have any data. Here only I'm going to implement the reusable content logic. First, let me create one component ng generate and a component. My component name is status. Okay, look like our component is created and our component name is status. Initially, we have some content like this. Let me remove it. And already we have some content in, in my home component. Let me copy the first box. So let me include here. Okay. Still we have the hard coded data only. Let me remove this one also. Okay. This is fine. And we all know our component name is app status. Now let me call this component in my contact page. So see now uh, we have only one box that also comes from our hard coded data. Now let me come here in the component side. So here we supposed to pass some data. So let me declare the parameter using this input decorator. So this input and the parameter name is input data and data type is basically an object so anyway i'm trying to give us the any type now coming to my status here i am going to change the values instead of the hard coded data i am going to give the some dynamic binding values and the user And the next one here is the kind of date. So let me add the date. Okay, fine. And here we have some description. Let me change it, the description. If you see now, currently we don't have any data. That's what is showing the blank manner. Actually, we are calling this component from our contact component so if you clearly noted here we not passed any data that's what uh, it's not binded so let me define some object here status data and here the user is user is rakesh 
and we have given us the date so let me put like so we can check from our home camera so we can use the same data okay we include the two data and final one is description okay now our object is ready let me pass the object from here input data why i am giving like this so in the status component we have declared using this name only so the i is caps so let me mark here also i is max after that we have to pass our data see now the rakesh and this one also gets binded and one data is not get binded let me verify d e s c i think okay great it's binded so and if you see the color defaultly it's showing the blue color and the border there is no color for binding the color also uh, we can use the style binding so in the object i can use border class so border class is border primary and my style color color is nothing but blue actually i am providing blue if you want you can change that's it now let me come to my component i am in the status component here i am going to bind the class first so we already have in directive ng class so this one is available in the input data object so we can verify see now so border is changed and style still it's coming from the hard coded data instead of that let me remove it just on black color and after that we can use the style binding so style dot color and style name is color see now again it's a blue color only in case if i am trying to change this into your red so it will be red so in this way the component is working but uh, as i mentioned in the home component uh, we have the n number of boxes based on the status update now i am going to show how to reuse this one so instead of object we can use the array okay the array we have one uh, object we can include the multiple object also so that's what i'm already having some data with me if i am adding every data it will take some time that's what already i am kept the handy see i have a list of records so everything have the same fields like a user date description border color color and border color is warning orange likewise i hope to make your list is ready so even in the real time you can get the data from our uh, database also using some services we can get the same data because the array we can get from anywhere okay let me check now hopefully it will throw the error so okay see nothing is binded 
appears we have the list and now I am coming to my contact base here we are supposed to pass an object not a list so let me use the for each so ng for let item of status data so the status data have the list of data so in the item we have an object so let me pass this object here check now so all the data are coming so initially Rakesh created on ticket the time of 8.30 then a user comes and changed the status into end progress the time of 9.20 so after that his command he's expecting some details like a model or serial number so he commanded so after that Rakesh replied with the details so admin has completed his work and changed the status into result and again Rakesh is verifying and he is confirming it's working fine so the user just closed the ticket so now totally we have one two three four five six seven blocks we have and if you check the codings also in our contact page we are just using the component like this so how many data we have we are just passing so the same way in the home component if you see the bulk of the uh, html content was there but here we are just calling the single line even our component side also we have the limited lines and also one one time change only uh, we are not going to change any uh, changes in our component once we completed we are just passing the data based on that we are just using so as of now i changed the text color even if you want to apply some other styles also uh, we can change the background color and uh, so whatever it is so we can use or else we can handle in that way so this is the first scenario we created one component and we are using the same component in the single component in the multiple times now the second scenario i am going to create one more component the same component i can be used in the uh, different uh, commons like i can be used in the home also if i am going to the contact i can use the real time scenarios so you just consider one listing screen or else invoice screen uh, we have the search page the search is common for all so no problem and we have the listings so listings most probably data are similar but something is different invoice page we have the invoice record and a sales page we have the sales records the records only different uh, but the similarity should be same so for that scenarios I am going to create one more component header so here I am just explaining the concept uh, based on your requirement you can change accordingly so sorry ng generate component and our component name is header okay fine it's created so in the base I am just going to have just one kind of line welcome to the page and here I'm have the input the procedure is same so the header name and let me add here and our component name is app header now let me come to my home page the top of that I can include this one and input is header name 
sorry here so after that we need to pass some values from here header name home just to pass it here like this the same way I can call the contact page also and here also we should have an declared property Oh, it's not so I think it's not saved see now welcome to home page why it's a home page it's not on home page so welcome to the contact page then welcome to the home page so if you clearly noted this home and this contact only varying but all other details are similar the same way instead of having this h2 tag you can use the tables and instead of passing the string data you have to pass on the list or else the array so in that way also we can uh, reuse the component hopefully you will get the clear idea about the reusable components still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box so in my next video i plan to cover the unit testing in angular application if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and support. Thank you. Thanks for watching.